Good morning. Hello, 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 beautiful people. How are we doing today? Here I am again, Carla Arnold, coming at you with some more living Pilates. This video, we're going to look at the saw. It's a really favorite of mine. It's a classical Pilates exercise, and um, it's just real fun. I'll show it to you in different um, positions so that we can hopefully get it. The saw is one of the seated exercises in um, Pilates. And it's very big stretch, but at the same time, always focusing on moving from a strong powerhouse. So for the saw, the artist asks that we get our legs nice and wide apart. So as far as you can, I'll just come back a little bit here so that I can really get the feet in as well. And what we're going to do, having the legs nice and wide apart, and then we're sitting really nice and tall. If at all that's a problem, you could always just stick a block or a cushion underneath your bum so that you can um, get a little bit of an ease up in the hip flexors. But otherwise, what we want to be cue here, remember, I always say 85% of our exercise is our setup. Okay, guys? So let's start from the toes all the way up to the crown of the head. We want to be feet or toes pulling towards our shins so the legs are active. Heels reaching away from you, but the heels are still down. The legs are active, knees and toes pointing up to the ceiling. I'm right sitting up onto my sits bones and my pubis, so I'm right onto my um, tripod, pubis and sits bones. So if you need to move the meat off those bones and get that, those sit bones on there, sometimes that's what we need to do. Okay, then from there, I'm sitting nice and upright, and I will show this to you from the side view. And then my hands are going to be quite wide apart. Sometimes this may not be comfortable in your shoulders, so it's okay to bring them slightly closer together. Once we are here, we're going to lift the spine nicely, engage into those legs, take an inhale and feel the crown of the head going tall, and start to flex, to, to rotate, sorry, start to rotate the spine. Once I have done this, I'm going to saw off my baby toe with my baby finger as I start my flexion, wide rotation, Exhaling, the back hand turns under, and I exhale, and I exhale further. Noticing both bum cheeks stay down, all ten toes are pointing to the ceiling. I inhale to reach and feel that stretch as I soft that toe, and I exhale to come back to center. I inhale to grow and start my rotation. As we inhale, we extend the spine, so it helps with the rotation. And as we exhale, we flex the spine from the crown of the head. I'm getting a nice rotation all the way down to my back, to my left hip. So as I turn to my right, I'm feeling it all down the side. Notice my ears are not coming, my shoulders are not coming up. I'm really reaching to saw off that baby toe. As I look back at my back hand, inhaling and exhaling, inhale. Both bum cheeks down. Pull it tight into the tummies. from the side view. Okay, sitting nice and tall, back is tall, waist is engaged, you know, feet are flexed, coming to you nice and wide. So this is a very important exercise for getting all into the back muscles. First to get the rotation of the thorax, which is really important for the mid-back to get that nice looseness in the mid-back. 
and um, really focused on engaging into the internal beliefs and helping to stabilize you. Very nice exercise. It's quite difficult, so you can always grow into it. It's okay if to start with you want to bend your knees and just do it like that and have your legs closer together. You can also have that. And then just reaching, reaching, and reaching, reaching. Energy through the arms. So you're still getting your rotation, but it's not as hard on your legs. As well, you can also do it with your legs crossed. I would say if you cross your legs one way, just go to cross them the other way, so it's not in your comfort zone, it's pushing you a little bit out. And then that way, you can literally place one hand here. As you push into this hand, you can reach away with this arm. So you're getting a similar stretch, reaching away, reaching away, coming up. Put the other hand here, so you're pushing back into the hand, into the small of the back as you're reaching away. So you're getting that stretch down the back behind your shoulder blade and into the quadratus lumborum as well. If crossing your legs is not available to you, go ahead and just let them out in front of you, zipping up again. And the same thing, you can literally just reach that hand around and reach this hand back to get another version of that stretch. Okay, obviously it's not as strong, it's not the classical, but it will lead you up to getting a nice So the back hand goes back like we did, and we're reaching this hand around, and we're looking back, just as we did with the full saw, classical saw, but this one gives us another option that we can use to get that stretch into the mid-back and into the lower back, just getting that nice rotation stretch. Again, this can even be done seated in a chair, as you can imagine, you sit in your chair and you can just do your little pulling one side to the other as a version of our saw. So guys, let's just to revisit for the full saw, we will be legs apart, feet are flexed, hips are nice and high, so you're right up on your sits bones, you inhale to grow, you twist and you saw off your baby toe, inhale, exhale. And Inhale and exhale. Some watch points is to make sure both bum cheeks stay down, anchored to the mat, and to make sure you're lifting from a strong powerhouse and really giving that some nice energy. Thinking about the oppositional work and the reach of the legs, reach of the arms, and all the way. So I hope you enjoy this exercise with me, Kappa, and um, you'll be joining me for some others. Again, this is the classical saw exercise with some variations for those of you who may have some difficulties getting into that um, classical position. Okay, hope you enjoy. Tune in again to my Fit Strong and Flexible group and also onto my Facebook. Okay, see you guys for another exercise coming at you soon. Thanks.